stop right there. You might be at risk of serious health issues due to just one part of your diet, fish. That's right. Fish contain mercury in their bodies, and when you eat them, it can be very toxic towards your body. Mercury is toxic to the central and peripheral nervous systems. The inhalation of mercury vapor can produce harmful effects to the nervous, digestive, and immune systems, lungs, and kidneys, and may be fatal. Mercury comes from the Earth's crust. It is released into the environment from volcanic activity, weathering of rocks, and as a result of human activity. Hello, my name is P. Sherman, and I went to my doctor two years ago. She told me that I should lower my fish intake. I saw that she was crazy and didn't change my deal. Now I suffer from insomnia, and every night I regret to not listen to my doctor. The reason that most fish can be harmful is because fish carry amounts of mercury that can bioaccumulate as you go up the food chain. When a fish eats a smaller fish, the mercury multiplies and gets larger and larger the more it eats. Mercury gets into the fish due to weathering of rocks, volcanic activity, and human activity. Human activity causes mercury release through coal-fired power stations, residential coal burning for heating and cooking, industrial processes, waste incinerators, and as a result of mining for mercury and other metals. The Department of Health has said that you can have 0.1 micrograms of mercury for each kilogram of your own body weight. So you don't have to cut out fish completely, but remember to limit your fish intake. If too much mercury in the body is in the body, symptoms can include tremors, insomnia, memory loss, neuromuscular effects, headaches, and cognitive and motor dysfunction. Mercury is a serious issue, and if not taken seriously, can have a short or long-term effect on your health. So take care and aware of mercury in your life.